All set. You know, it's, um, you never, at the end of the day, everybody has a job, you know, and that's how he provided for himself, his family, you know, so you never, you never wish that upon anybody, you know, it's, um, it's crazy in a way, you know, this is, this is the man that drafted me, you know, a man I have a huge amount of respect for, um, he gave me my opportunity in the league, you know, so I have nothing but positive things to say about Ernie, you know, and what he's done for this team, what he's done for me, you know, this organization, you know, it's, it's the longest tenure, you know, uh, for a long, for a long time with the GMs and, um, you know, I'm appreciative of what he's done for me, my family and, and this team for sure. He's really going to keep me in the loop, you know, that's ultimately, you know, it's going to be his decision, you know, it's his decision, um, you know, to release Ernie and, you know, it's going to be his decision to figure out, you know, who's, who's best suitable to, you know, lead us going forward. And, uh, you know, he's going through a process right now, you know, Tommy's involved in it too. So, you know, he has a lot of good candidates in mind and, you know, I'm, he's, he tells me he's going to keep me in his, his back pocket. You know, I'm going to be, you know, close contact with him throughout the process and, uh, you know, free agency and the draft process as well. So, um, you know, it's just, it's figuring out where we're going from here and how we're building up our future. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's it's crazy because um, all I know is Ernie. That's 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 what I know, and uh, it's it's crazy because people always ask me, okay, how would you like to go to another team? Well, I don't know. I, all I know is DC. All I know is the Wizards, and uh, you know we've had the same group of guys here, the same people working in the front office for every year that I've been here. So, uh, in that aspect, I don't know. You know and. You know, I'm definitely going to learn a lot from Ted in this process and going through this process. I haven't been through it before. Um, it's similar to the coaching change. You know, I wasn't super, super involved with it. But, you know, when, you know, one time came for Brooks to be, you know, the head guy, uh, you know, we, I established my relationship early with him, you know, when the time came. So uh, I'm just kind of just playing it by ear and staying in the shadows a little bit. But at the same time, I'm involved as much as I can be. Oh, we'll see. You know, ultimately, you know, that's the biggest, you know, concern with, you know, me and everybody is just where, you know, where we're going from here, you know, what we're looking like moving forward. You know, are we going to rebuild? Are we going to, you know, what are we going to do? And uh, those are all questions I'm sure Ted has that I have and, you know, that I'm sure all of you have as well. And, uh, you know, it's whatever he decides to do, if we decide to go the route he did with the Caps, you know, if it works, it works. You know, ultimately, we're confident in Tommy, we're confident in, uh, you know, whoever will have the job, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, I just want to win. You know, that's all that's, that's all that matters. That's all that's important, uh, regardless of who's on the team and who's the GM. I mean, I feel like these last couple of games, we've kind of found our identity in a way. Um, you know, it's kind of, I think, Ken, as you asked me there a couple, a couple weeks ago, it's just, who are we as a team? And, you know, it's kind of, it's been fluctuated throughout the year. You know, we want to be a defensive team that gets out and run and, you know, I feel like the last couple of games we've shown that. And uh, I think moving forward, that's what we want. You know, obviously we want to be a winning team and have a winning culture. You know, that comes with confidence. That comes with, you know, having having the right guys in the locker room, having, uh, you know, guys produce on the floor as well. So um, it's all, it's all, you know, it's all, you know, kind of one big circle in a way. Everything ties into one another. And, uh, you know, ultimately everything is going to be on Ted and, and uh, whoever he decides to hire. I mean, obviously, it's it's tough for me because I'm here for two more years, and we have nine guys who are free agents, so I can't necessarily guarantee everybody's going to be back. You know, it's it's going to be somebody new possibly, and you know they may have a totally different agenda than the route that we were going down. You know, and uh, in a lot of ways, you know, it's a lot of the older vets probably have been through it. Um, a lot of guys on these deals, you know, they're they're looking, you know, to support themselves and do what's best for them at the end of the day, and. Uh, We'll evaluate that, you know, when the time comes. But uh, for me, especially like Troy, you know, just trying to keep him focused and just control what you can control at the end of the day. You know, all of this stuff is above all of our heads. It's above us. And, you know, all we have to do is just worry about playing. Yeah, I mean, but at the end of the day, when you lose John, and come on, that's, that's, that's tough to bounce back from. But uh, it's, any team in that position would be the same, you know. Uh, but, you know, it's tough when you – you lose Dwight, you lose John, you know, Otto went down some games and then we made a lot of trades. I mean, we have a totally different team than, than we started the year with. And uh, I keep telling you guys, I feel like I've been on three teams this year. You know, just so many guys have been in and out. But, you know, like at the end of the day, you control what you can control. And all I can do is control the guys that are in the locker room and uh, make sure that they're ready to go every time we step on the floor. Uh, I mean, that's not my decision ultimately, but 
uh, you would always love that, you know, that, that stability, that, that knowing that, you know, you're going to be with some guys for a few years, you know, you develop that, that chemistry and that camaraderie that way. And, uh, but, you know, I mean, it's a business, so, you know, at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. I'm sure Ted, his pockets, you know, were, they were heavy the last couple of years and, and being in the luxury tax. So, you know, I don't, I'm sure none of us probably blames him for the decisions he's made. So, uh, especially with our production. So at the end of the day, uh, he's going to do what's best for him. Uh, and, you know, when your deals, they are what they are. You know, we got to come in and guys got to prove their worth and get it done. But, I mean, no, that's just, I think it's all part of the strategy, whatever we have. I'm never, I never think like that. Um, I, and honestly, I didn't never, I didn't even have like a, like a feel, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't one of those things where, you know, guys stop reacting to coach or guys, you know, stop, you know, listening and stop playing hard and things like that. It wasn't, I don't think it was, it was that at all. And nobody dislikes each other in here. So, you know, we didn't have that, that feeling, you know, at all, you know, it was just, you know, a matter of just trying to get wins and we couldn't do that. You know, you never expect anybody to get fired. You know, it's kind of always unexpected. And this one definitely was, but you know, uh, all you can do is just continue to move forward. Uh, they're kind of up and down, uh, just like the year has been almost. You know, it's it's um, just trying to balance everything out and just trying to figure out the direction we're headed in. You know, that's just my biggest and main concern. You know, obviously, um, we're going to be totally different next year. You know, John won't be with us, so that'll be a whole new, you know, thing we'll have to face going into the off season and strategy-wise and who is going to be on the team. You know, the style we're going to play with and. And everything of that nature until he gets back, and uh, you know, and just how we're how we're just going to look as an organization moving forward. You know, is our culture going to change? Are we going to be a winning culture where we can draw other guys here, draw a lot of attention to other guys to you know come join us? So it's uh, it's a lot. You know, it's you know we got to balance it all, but first we got to you know find a guy who's going to get us right moving forward. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm very optimistic about it. I will say that I'm not I'm not going into it with a negative thought about it. I'm not really sure. You know, it was, we just didn't bring it. You know, I think that's that's pretty much all I can give you. You know, we didn't. We just didn't win. You know, we didn't do enough to win. You know, we had the talent. We had um, everything we needed. You know, granted injuries happened, but you know, we we just didn't win. You know, and why? I mean, it's it's, it's a numerous amount of reasons. And obviously, defense is the number one reason. You know, if we don't defend, we don't win. You know, so it's uh, a lot of ways. You know, you look back at it and it's a disappointment every year. Um, granted, you know, with all the injuries and everything like that, we still had an opportunity to, to make the playoffs and we didn't. But, um, you know, you still take some positives out of it. You know, you still got the young boys and, and Troy and TB who had awesome years uh, for us. You know, I'm looking forward to them in the offseason continuing to get better. And, you know, you just got to be positive about it. You know, as negative as, you know, the year has been for us and all the changes we've had. You know, it's easy to be negative about it, but, you know, I'm optimistic and I'm still here and, you know, the guys are still confident. We, we just got to move forward.